So introduce yourself. Dr. Robert Alexander, I teach political science here at Ohio Northern University. I've been here since 2002. What are some of the classes you teach? I teach uh, most everything in American politics. I teach political parties and interest groups, which is one of my areas of expertise. I teach state and local politics, American politics, uh, public administration, uh, mass media and politics. I teach film and politics. Uh, you name it, I teach it. War on film. War on film, I teach. Um, let's see, anything else uh, to throw out there? A number of things. Okay. And you also work with the Washington Center. You're in charge of the internships here in the department. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I work with the Washington Center, and we have a number of excellent uh, relationships at the university, and the Washington Center is one of those relationships that has really borne a lot of fruit for us here in our department in particular. Uh, the president of the Washington Center is actually an Ohio Northern alum, uh, Mike Smith, and he has an honorary doctorate uh, here. Uh, we've had a number of students uh, go through the Washington Center since I've been here, and I'm the liaison for that program, so all students that participate in the program go through me, and I help guide them through the process. Uh, students will work while they're in Washington, D.C., uh, uh, full-time jobs, entry-level positions, and they will also uh, take a class while they're there. And all the while, they're getting credit at Ohio Northern University. They register for courses here just like they're here. And uh, they have some financial relationships that make it uh, uh, very palatable uh, and comparable to going to Northern for the term, uh, except they get to do it in D.C. and mm -hmm. get all kinds of great connections. Uh, other people to write letters of recommendation. Uh, we've had a number of students actually turn their internships into full-time positions uh, or at least open some doors for them for other kinds of programs. Okay, and they also have their own housing there? They have their own housing there. Uh, it's a I secure wish... facility near the uh, metro? Yeah, everything's metro accessible. Uh, they have program advisors uh, from the Washington Center that help uh, take care of problems while they're down there. Um, I've never had a student, uh, I've been doing this nearly 10 years now, that has come back from Washington Center internship and said, boy, that was a really dumb thing to do. Uh, <laughs> they all are really excited to do the program. They come back, um, many with Potomac fever, yeah. that is, they want to go back to, to D.C. Um, and it's really been a, a real boon for our students. Uh, the housing that they have is phenomenal. Uh, professors couldn't touch that kind of housing uh, with a 10-foot pole. Uh, it's pretty <laughs> nice stuff. They have some other programs that they uh, are involved with. Uh, they have a convention program that uh, is a shorter term program, so if students aren't uh, maybe into going to D.C. for 15 weeks, um, they might choose to do a, the convention program where they go to the site of either the Republican National Convention or the Democratic National Convention. They go there for two weeks. They take an internship position there and also hear uh, top flight seminars from the leading academics throughout the United States on presidential nomination process, mass media, all kinds of wonderful things. I was going to ask you about that, and they had some some great adventures while they were at the conventions the last time, working all sorts of different jobs. Nor Northern had uh, the second largest contingent back in 2008 of any university at uh, the convention programs. We had uh, 13 students participate. Uh, the administration was really helpful in facilitating that, cutting the price down for students. Uh, and boy, they, they, they uh, you know, the students took the keys and, and drove the car uh, all over the place. Uh, they had a really, really uh, outstanding set of experiences, uh, both in Denver and in Minneapolis. Um, you know, uh, I, I learned uh, about texting at that point. Uh, one of the students had texted me because I went out to uh, advise a, a group of students out in Denver. And, uh, you know, one of the students texted me, uh, Dr. Alexander. Uh, I was just in the bathroom and John Stewart was there. Uh, uh, you know, another student uh, was at um, in the convention site and uh, was in the booth right next to former President Clinton as Hillary Clinton was giving her speech at the convention in Denver. Um, every student that wanted to go to the convention sites uh, actually were were on site. Uh, both in Denver and in Minneapolis. A number of the students actually saw Obama give his acceptance speech there in Denver. A number of students uh, got to meet you know, all kinds of luminaries of, of government. Uh, there was, you know, it was just a, 
a uh, plethora of politics uh, <laughs> everywhere you went. A great experience. So what about your research interests? Uh, I have a, a pretty active research agenda, which I think most of my colleagues in the department have, and I think that's really something unique for uh, an institution of our size, is that I think we have a lot of really excellent teachers, but we also have a lot of excellent academics, uh, folks that really focus on their scholarship, take a lot of pride in it. Uh, I myself uh, try and involve students. As you know, we don't have graduate students at this university, at least in our department. and. Um, and so that we use the next best thing, and, and that's our undergraduates. And fortunate for us, we have such talented uh, students coming to us that we've got kids that can, can, can take the ball and, and run with it. And uh, in particular, I've been focused on, uh, as I said, political parties and interest groups. I've published a number of articles in that area, interest groups in particular, and direct democracy. Um, I've uh, published two books on interest groups. Um, and then more recently, I've been working with a number of students on uh, a study of the Electoral College, in particular presidential electors. And uh, we're trying to unmask those that actually serve in these elusive positions that nobody knows who these folks are that ultimately select the president and vice president of the United States. Um, I've been doing this uh, since 2003 uh, with a number of students. Um, we've uh, published an article, book chapter, on, on this uh, research thus far. I'm uh, completing a, a full-length book right now. Uh, hopefully that'll be in press uh, shortly. And, uh, you know, I, I owe a lot to the students to, that, have, that have kind of worked with me, and, and I feel like they've certainly gotten a lot out of it themselves. Um, the first article we published on this actually appeared in the most widely read journal in all of political science, and that was an article I published with two undergraduates. And uh, of all of my professional accomplishments, that's probably one of the things I'm most proud of. Um, it might be worth mentioning that those two students, uh, one was president of the College of Democrats and the other one was president of the College of Republicans. <laughs> and so we all play pretty nice here in the department as well. All right. Thank you very much. My pleasure.